Hey you guys! Bambi Thug from Ireland has dropped their new video and let's just get these AirPods in and ooh, get started. Okay, are you ready? Let's do this! Hitting play. Ah, okay, there's a storm brewing. Libation. A cult. Obia, Juju, Voodoo. <laughs> this is so out of the ball. <laughs> Doomsday cake. This is actually very creative. This is very artistic and very well thought out. It's juxtaposed. And even though I don't particularly feel that there is cohesion here, I respect this. We are I mean, this is like faith music now. Yeah, this is the high priestess of goth pop. Yeah. Metal gore, come through. This is very electric ballroom. Adventures of Gwendoline, underground, dark goth bar. Dalston Superstore. Nag, nag, nag. Okay, something's happening. And they are golden. You know, <clears throat> there is a lot to unpack here. At times, this feels very, very possessed. It's like witchcraft. Obia, Juju, Voodoo, Haiti Porter Prince, <laughs> 2024. You know, there is an element of this that just feels like you're treading uncharted waters. And that's really quite daring. But there are aspects of this as well that is all about calmness and serenity. And the story about placing a hex on your boyfriend to kind of make him a better person. I think we've all wished that 
on some level. Perhaps not to this extreme level, but hey, this is about having a visual aesthetic and committing to a particular sound. And this is about representation. And representation is important. You know, for a contest that actually reaches out to 190 million people, there's just a strong contingent of people who don't like it because they feel that they don't see themselves in it. Well, what Bambi Thug is doing is bringing those people into the fold and saying, hey, this is also for us. This 63-year legacy, or how many years <laughs> old Eurovision is, yeah, we are here and we're part of the fabric of music, of artistic expression, of... We pay taxes to the state broadcasters too. I mean, so for that, I think this entry is doing more than just a pop song in three minutes. Happy birthday, Bambi Thug. So very recently, Bambi Thug celebrated their 31st birthday and you know, there was such a joy on social media, everybody kind of joining in the spirit of this big celebration. And it is a celebration because every time Bambi Thug is referenced, it's more than just Bambi Thug. In the same way that Dana International spoke to millions of people because they felt that this was beyond the song. Diva is beyond the moment. It's, it's about representation, right? Conchita did the same thing. And other people in varying guises, the Dahatari from Iceland, you know, similar aesthetic where they're like, mm, you know, we pay our taxes too. We deserve to be here and we deserve to cast a spell on Eurovision. And this has been done very well. It's funny how we think that this is really less left field. And you know what? The whole concept of being a misfit Actually, a lot of creative inspiration is drawn from that. We know some of the biggest stars in the industry today, the likes of people like Madonna, the likes of people like Katy Perry, and the likes, you know, they've used scripture and the left of scripture to quote mainstream audiences ah, for generations. And they've done this very successfully. In its purest form, you also have artists that have Fisher Spooner comes to mind, Marilyn Manson comes to mind. Um, you, you know, there are, a, there are a few people who have taken metal gore or sort of like fashion gore. I mean, in my youth, I used to hang out with lots and lots of goths and I used to attend lots of underground parties and stuff. And there's a real... There's a real expression in that community, not just visually, but aesthetically. And in terms of sound, you know, the combination of sounds that don't particularly go, the fusion of very different worlds, there's something really otherworldly about it. But beyond this, there's also the assertion of the non-binary status. Obviously, that is something that has come into um, prominence in recent years, the term non-binary, but, you know, non-binary people have existed for so, so long. And they've been at the forefront of the creative industries for very long, but haven't featured the Eurovision Song Contest, not in the way we understand it now. So Bambi Thug, you know, I'm all about it. Choosing Ireland's entry this year was very interesting. There was a uh, half a dozen artists that did, you know, pretty decent, right? Well, Bambi Thug, or oh, actually, and um, Go To Ban, I believe, those two really stuck out as being quite left field. And what was very interesting about it is that when the Irish people voted, they kind of thought, yeah, we like these pop songs, but where have they led us so far? How well have they actually done through advancing to Eurovision. In fact, we say through advancing. From the Late Late Show to on to Eurovision. We don't want another year of non-qualification. So let's take a risk, let's be bold, and let's send something that is memorable. And if this doesn't advance, we know we tried. We know we've tried. We know that you won't forget that we've tried. And that is exactly what Doomsday's uh, Blue is doing. 
It is so out of the box, you'll never forget it. And there's actually a very big chance that you might like it. So have you ever been chased through the forest by a hairy monster? You know, I, I salute a mind that travels beyond. I mean, this is so out of the box, but it's clever. It, you know, it's clever too, right? It's far out though. What is Bambi Thug's mood board on Pinterest like? That is something that needs to be checked out. And guys, while you're at it, follow Wee Blogs on Pinterest and we will see you later.